Today I will follow up on another request. It was for rolled cabbage, which we call Kohlrouladen in Germany. The ingredients that I need today is of course a cabbage. I also have a diced small onion here. I need a half of a large roll um, soaked in cold water some cornstarch, two teaspoons to be precise, an egg, some mustard and I'm using my homemade mustard and if you want to know how to make that watch that video up there and also 500 milliliters or two cups of vegetable broth and I made this with my homemade vegetable broth also this recipe is up there some salt, some pepper, of course you will need some ground beef and uh, this should be like a little less than half a pound, 400 grams. And also you will need some kitchen yarn. Okay, let's start this. So the first thing I have to do is to prepare the cabbage. And I've already removed the outer leaves and I've washed the cabbage and now I'm removing uh, a part of the core. So I use a knife and cut around it. And um, I've prepared already a pot with water and salt. So I'm using a teaspoon of salt for each liter of water and a liter of water is four cups. So a teaspoon on four cups of water. And I put this in here and put it on my stove and bring it to a boil. And I want to boil this for as long as it needs to um, loosen the, the outer leaves. And I will remove these outer leaves then and cook it again uh, until the next outer leaves are loosening. So I'm basically cooking like about 12 to 14 uh, leaves from this uh, cabbage and this was what I will use to wrap my meat later. Now while I'm bringing this cabbage to a boil I'll prepare the meat and I've already squeezed out the roll and removed the water and now I'm adding the ground beef and it's a little more than um, 400 gram it's, it's basically a little more than a pound even but I don't I don't really care about that um, I just use a little more of my spices and then it will be all good so I'm mixing this a little bit already and then I'm adding the other ingredients So I'm adding the egg, and a teaspoon of my mustard, a little more. Um, you can use any mustard that you like, you don't have to use a homemade one, um, it just, you know, it's what I have. I've made that a while ago for a video. Okay, I add the onion, quite a bit of salt, and some pepper. Okay, and now I'm mixing this all with my hands. You can also use, use a, a fork to mix this. Yeah, and once I've mixed this all together very well, I'll just set it aside and um, continue with the cabbage. Here are now the cooked cabbage leaves and um, what I have to do now is um, I cut away the thicker parts of them just to flatten them a little bit. Some need that more than others.
And now we are coming to the fun part. I will make four to five little packages now and I'm trying to combine larger and smaller um, <coughs> cabbage uh, parts so that I don't end up with some small and some large ones. And I use like three of these cabbage leaves and roughly a quarter of my ground beef and uh, I put this here in the center and I wrap the sides and then I wrap it all around like this. Okay, now next I need some of my kitchen yarn and a scissor and I wrap this around this and put this aside and I'll do the next one. Yes, that's uh, five packages of rolled cabbage and this will go into the pot and will be fried and then cooked and that I will show you at the stove. I'm using a large pot now and I'm currently heating some oil and it already feels like it's hot enough. So this means that I will put my packages in here now. And I have all of it in there. And I will fry them now from all sides for roughly 5 minutes. As you can see I've browned them now from almost all sides. I've kind of uh, rotated them here with the fifth one so they all get some of the browning. And so my next thing to do is to add the growth. Now I let this boil for 45 minutes. I will check in between if there's still enough liquid in it and uh, eventually add some more, but um, that's something I have to figure out. And uh, when the temperature is a little lower, it will uh, boil it a little less, so the liquid will stay more in the pot. Okay. While this is all cooking, I prepared some potatoes. I will make some mashed potatoes as a side and also some carrots. Let's take a look at our rolled cabbage. It's boiling nicely, not too much, and there's still enough of the liquid. So all is good. I can close it and continue to boil it. So look at this. This looks really nice. Um, I just increased the heat a little bit. Um, I also turned the cabbage rolls once in between cooking. And now I will take these out. To keep them warm, I will just cover the cabbage rolls with another plate. I set this aside and I increase the heat even a little more. And now I want to make the sauce. So I'm losing a little bit of the cabbage that has set on the bottom of the pot. Cornstarch that I mentioned at the beginning 
gets dissolved in some cold water. And I'm adding this to the sauce, not all at once. I first want to see how good it is thickening. Okay, I'm adding a little more of the cornstarch. You can also add a little bit of tomato paste if you want to. just not boiling enough I will have to increase the heat even more. Yeah there you go. And you could pour the sauce now through a sieve. That's not what I'm doing though. I will just blend this. And now my rolled cabbage and sauce is ready to be served almost. I want to taste it. Yep, doesn't need a lot. It has a very nice taste already. A little salt, a little pepper. If you feel like you want to add some herbs, just do it. Perfect. That's it. Now I'm gonna surface.